Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, I've had a few um, comments about that over time, but also I've had one come up this morning uh, because of an article also that appeared on one of the websites. I don't remember if it's Bleeping Computer or Neowin or which one, but um, it was a RAND video, a little bit of RAND video, not video, but um, article about how uh, people should leave you know, uh, Google Chrome and uh, maybe it's time to find some other browser and that's the big problem the big problem with um, the browsers and i'm going to go in multiple ways here because there's several questions that came to um, the attention of you know chrome and and using the chromium basics like in microsoft edge and opera and so on so um, i'll go through the questions that i had first of all why is everybody using the same basic Chromium engine at the start. So Chromium, of course, is an open source project. So what happens is that you can take what exists and build around it the browser you want. And you can customize it so that it's totally, totally unrecognizable from Google Chrome, for example. Uh, Edge has worked in a way with that. Opera is a perfect example of how a browser can be very different. Um, you know, and, and some of you use Brave, which is kind of a browser that is um, kind of more privacy and secure oriented. But the thing is, they're all still Chromium based, which means, and that's the second question is, so to make things simple, the first question is, it's simple. You already have the basics of your browser, just build around it and do what you want. Also, the other good thing that I know a lot of developers will tell you, and web developers also, having the same basics on everything, the same standards, it's so much easier to build websites and to build web apps because it works the same everywhere. Um, so that's the positive point that, that you can have in using the same basics. Now, that also means that and that's the second question I get is so you know every time Google Chrome comes up with security updates it means all the browsers will need to have a security update and yes because most of the flaws are within the Chromium base which means any flaw that shows up in Google Chrome in general will show up in Edge and Brave and Opera and and, and so on um, like I said Firefox is a different one so that is the negative side of using the same base for everything. You end up having a, um, a serious security problem with every browser manufacturer needing to fix whatever is happening. And each manufacturer, so each company that makes a browser, needs to deal with the security updates on its own because why isn't everybody getting the same Chromium at the same time for the updates? It's a simple bet. Um, when you have the same base, you still don't have the same interface over it. So they need to check that a security fix won't break something in their own browser. So each browser maker will want to test those just before they release them to make sure their browser doesn't break because of something like that, because of an update. Um, one of the things also is a lot of you are saying, well, why isn't there different? You know, why isn't each browser with its own engine? Like we had more choices in the past. Internet Explorer, uh, even the first Microsoft Edge and then Firefox and then Chrome were different and what happened is that in terms of um you know security it's a good thing because having different uh basics or different a different um base which means a security hazard on chrome did not affect microsoft edge original version or did not does not affect firefox but over time, because the development of your own engine requires a lot more work, 
also because of the fact that a lot of developers need to have more info because if they make web apps, if they make websites, they have to adapt it so that, you know, you got to check what browser you're using. Then you're going to check what are the technologies that are going to be applied to that. And an example of that is a lot of people ran, you know, of web developers were ranting at Internet Explorer. Uh, because Internet Explorer had its own way of wanting to access the web and its own technologies. And it was annoying everybody because they had to readjust websites for every different browser where when everything's on the same base, well, you can almost pretty much just leave the website alone. It works the same everywhere. But definitely um, there is a need for different technologies, whether you like it or not. You know, developers will say, no, 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 we want to. We want to have everything in the same. It's easier. Yeah. But in terms of security, in terms of having a choice, a true choice, yeah, it, it would be nice to have different engines, um, definitely. The only one that left, that is left, is really Firefox, which is different from, you know, not using the Chromium base. Will that stand and keep, you know, because there's some people who are saying, well, you know, Firefox will cave in at some point and also build a browser around Chromium. I don't know. I think their work, their, their you know, basic idea is, no, we want to have our own engine. As for the rest, uh, the questions I get about the browsers is, yeah, but, you know, um, is, is Chrome snooping more than... Um, you know, Edge or, or or whatever, Opera or Brave or... Well, that's the thing, is the basics, the Chromium basics, can be customized in the way you want, which means it's not because you're using Chromium that it snoops on you f with Google products, for example, or services. It is customizable with each browser. That's why Brave, that is more of the privacy oriented browser can actually pull it off because its browser itself blocks everything that is unwanted and works in a more secure way in the way that it is. Like Edge, which instead of giving more data to Google, gives more data to Microsoft. You can customize that as you wish. So it's not the Chromium base that is the problem, for privacy or security, well, security, yes, but privacy in, in terms of having compute, you know, companies get data, it's really who builds the browser that decides what's going to be taken as data as you browse and as you go through the different websites. So it's really each company, each browser maker has its own way of tracking and doing stuff like that and have its own settings. So each browser, even though based on Chromium, are going to have their own settings for privacy. So for the rest, it's, you know, just uh, um, whatever you want to use. And then whatever also you, you know, what's what's your level of, of privacy and your level of acceptance of what you're going to use. I think a lot of people are not really there that much. Most people, the reason Chrome, Google Chrome is so popular is simply showing that the majority of users don't really care and don't really think about anything else than just, I need a browser to serve the web. And that's the one I was using before, or that's the one my friends use, uh, much more than anything else. It's really much more the computer enthusiast and the people that are a little more privacy oriented that will actually choose a browser based on what they think is the best for them in terms of security and privacy. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.